Opening image. Theme stated. Setup. Catalyst. Resisting change. Debate. End of act one. End of debate. Break into act two. B story. Diving in. Foreshadowing. Midpoint. Trouble. First half of efforts turn on characters. All is lost. Dark night of the soul. Break into act three. Revelation. Finale. Resolution. Final image. By the end of this video, you are going to have a clear understanding of how to properly structure your screenplay using pen and paper or a computer. You'll learn how you can apply this to your screenplay. Screenwriting structure is the single most important element when it comes to writing a successful feature film. Over the years, Blake Snyder's Beat Sheet has become the foundation for commercial contemporary cinema. He asserts that in order for our screenplay to be a commercial success, it must have a structural order of operations that dives deeper into the contemporary three-act structure. This system revolutionized the way filmmakers and enthusiasts viewed feature films in Hollywood. Hello everyone, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks. And today, I've got yet another incredible tool for you to add to your filmmaking utility belt. This is a filmmaking tool that is meant to work hand in hand with your film treatment in order for you to fully flesh out your screenplay. It's Hollywood's secret weapon, the beat sheet. If you're excited to learn or relearn the beat sheet, just give this video a like and let's get started. Story beat one, opening image. This beat will be found on page one. The purpose of this beat is to establish the tone, mood, style, and establish the stakes of your film to inform the audience of the kind of film they're about to watch. This basically lets your audience know what they're in for. This gives the screenwriter the opportunity to establish who the characters are before the events in your story change them forever and force them to become better or worse versions of themselves. The matching beat for the opening image is the final image at the end of the film. And since the protagonist of your story will inevitably change by the powerful events in your story, the opening image and your final image should be opposites. Snyder calls them your film's bookends. Now we know that good stories have well-rounded character arcs. We also know that a character arc is the result of their journey, giving us a character's personal growth or mental emotional decline or deterioration. These two beats are a way to make clear to your audience how your characters have changed as a result of their journey. Your opening can also give your audience hints into the act three story revelation, as you can see here in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar and in The Prestige. Story beat two, theme stated. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The theme or thematic premise is the omnipresent invisible current driving your entire story. The theme of your film will be mentioned, discussed, or alluded to around the first four to five percent of your screenplay. Someone, usually not the main character, will pose a question or make a statement, usually to the main character, that is the theme of the movie. All except the most valuable one, the transported man. Well, I won't forgive myself for selling my greatest trick. Even for your daughter. It won't be obvious. It'll be conversational. An offhand remark that the main character doesn't quite get at the moment, but which will have far-reaching and meaningful impact later. Snyder refers to this as the thematic premise. This is the argument posed by the screenwriter. The pros and cons of living a particular kind of life or pursuing a specific goal. The passion for perfecting their shows transforms two magicians into dangerous entities who gives more love to their magic tricks and rivalry than they give to their family. At its core, they're placing their career above their family. So Christopher Nolan's cinematic masterclass is a metaphor about what will happen if you deem your career more valuable than your family. Obsession turns you into a completely different person. Don't know? Theme is a human condition lesson that the filmmaker is trying to teach. 
it ties all of the sequences into a unified film. The emotional, intellectual, or spiritual issue at the core of your story. It is the invisible thread that gives your story weight. If you do not have a well fleshed out theme or thematic premise in your first draft, according to both Snyder and Robert McKee, it's all right. Odds are you don't have the whole picture until you've actually undergone all of the sequences in your story, because according to them, you may not have it yet. And I've also realized it with myself. As I'm writing the first draft of my story, I'm not quite crystal clear on what the theme may be yet. But by the second draft, I can hone it in and make some rewrites in order to make this abundantly clear to my audience. Story beat three, the setup. This is the first 10 to 12 pages of your screenplay, and the objective is to grip your audience and shake them up. You need to grab your audience or you risk losing their attention. This is where you set up the main players in your story and establish the stakes in your film, so that by the first 10 minutes you've already met or referenced all of the main players in your story. Players also should exhibit behaviors or characteristics that needs to be addressed later on. You're showing the audience why your hero needs to change in order to achieve his goal. What's missing in the life of your hero? Here we see the world before the adventure starts, or as Snyder calls it, the thesis. The calm before the storm. Because if the events that follow in your story did not occur, your characters would not change. Story beat four, Catalyst. This beat should occur around page 12, or page 20 or 21 if you're Christopher Nolan, but you really don't want it to occur after page 12 because according to Snyder, your story will drag. So we've set up our story, we've set up our characters and characteristics and faults that they may have. We've set up our dominoes and now it's time to knock them down. This is the point in your story where your MC is completely destabilized by an event that causes a fundamental change in the way that their lives operate. In other words, this is where something tremendous happens in your MC's life an earth-shattering event that shoves your MC straight into their perilous journey. Story beat five, resisting change, debate. So the debate is gonna be how your MC thinks that he's going to move forward and get closer to his outer goal. And it should be in some way, shape, or form tied into your film's thematic premise. Here, your MC outwardly explores or debates the wrong way of going about solving his problem. He swears up and down that the steps that he's about to take is gonna lead him to his success, but he'd be wrong. He's going about life incorrectly because he has the wrong idea about how to fix his problem. Since he hasn't endured the hardships that the rest of your story has in store, the MC still doesn't have a true grasp on how he should achieve his goal. And that's because at this point, your MC might not be sure what his actual true goal is. This can also be an internal debate that has large scale implications that will be brought to the surface later in your screenplay. Quick tip, in a story where your character will survive or overcome, the MC will generally take steps in the right direction overall. But the idea is that they're simply going about it the wrong way. As long as your MC's actions align with your film's thematic premise, he'll survive, conquer, and dominate. Whereas in a tragedy, your MC will progressively take steps in the wrong direction that directly opposes the thematic premise of your film until his actions eventually lead to his inevitable death. Story beat six, end of act one, end of debate. Here, the MC makes a definitive choice. He makes a decision to go about solving life's issues. Depending on your screenplay, the MC will take a step in the right direction that brings him to the next beat of the film. So yes, what he came up with may be a partial solution to his problem, but he doesn't have the full answer yet. The MC discovers a false solution that drives a wedge between him and his true goal. That's why you need the rest of your story for him to make some course corrections. The more drastic those course corrections, the better your screenplay. If you'd like to see part two of the series, please like, subscribe, and click right here, right below to go to part two.